All right, let's talk about reducing fractions or getting fractions into its simplest form. Simplest form means the smallest numbers you can possibly make that fraction, but still keeping it as an equivalent fraction. Okay, so I have two boxes here for a first fraction. Okay, and this is our numerator. Numerator. This one is our denominator. Okay, so in the numerator, let's do 14 twentieths. Okay, so that's a, those are two pretty big numbers, right? We can definitely make those numbers smaller. Okay, so what we need to think about is what can 14 and 20 both be divided by to get it to its simplest form? So we want to think about the factors of 14. So these are numbers multiplied together to get to 14. So I know 1 times 14 and 2 times 7. And that's it. Okay. Factors of 20, there's a lot more factors of 20. There's 1 times 20, 2 times 10, and 4 times 5. Okay. So the greatest common factor I see here is 2. So we need to divide both the numerator and the denominator by 2. You can also think about this in a simpler way <laughs> by thinking, are both of these numbers even numbers? If they are, then you can always divide by 2. But sometimes you'll need to divide by 2 over and over again before you can get to simplest form. 14 divided by 2 is 7. 10 divided by 2 is 10. So 7 tenths is our simplest form. All right, let's do another simplest form problem. Okay, but this time we're going to use 8 twelfths. So what we want to think about is, can 8 be divided into 12? Okay, and if our answer is no, okay, we cannot divide it by 8. Okay, so 8 cannot be divided into 12, so we cannot reduce this fraction by dividing by 8. Okay, both of these numbers are even numbers, so we can divide by 2. Okay, but I know we're going to be dividing by 2 again and again. So I'm going to look for my greatest common factor by listing out the factors of my numerator and my denominator. Eight factors are one times eight and two times four. Twelve's factors are one times twelve, two times six, and three times four. So I see that my greatest common factor here is four. So I can divide eight and twelve by four 8 divided by 4 is 2. 12 divided by 4 is 3. So my simplest form of 8 twelfths is 2 thirds. 